Have you ever been annoyed by pressing the throttle and the brake in a crazy way during a traffic jam? Actually, controllers can take place of human reaction and will have far less delay in this kind of situation. Our project aimed at building a test bench for this kind of connected vehicle topics. We built ground robots with V2B communication. This summer, we work on sensor calibration analysis, lab view programming, and solving hardware and software problems. Our vehicle is driven by a DC motor and steered by a servo. Sensors include a motor embedded tachometer, a laser for front car distance detection, and two encoders for localization purpose. All the actuators and sensors are governed by National Instruments Compact Reel, and vehicles can communicate with each other through tablets. In the software side, the core part is our longitudinal controller. Our longitudinal controller is a PRV controller, namely proportional, integral, and relative velocity controller. The proportional and integral arrow is determined by this range policy function, in which we map the distance between two cars to the desired velocity of the following car. Another part of our controller is given by relative velocity. We can imagine that when the system is stable, we wish the following car attenuates the velocity fluctuation of the leading car. We run experiments to verify the theoretical stability analysis. There are two kinds of stability we concerned about, namely plant stability and string stability. When the leading car starts to run in a constant velocity, the following car can also reach a constant velocity. This is plant stable. String stability is when the velocity of the leading car is a sign input, the amplitude of the velocity of the following car is less than that of the leading car. In the future, we are going to run more tests on different communication modes of connected vehicle system, such as autonomous cruise control and coordinated cruise control.